flush, baby. Nice, 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 nice. Let's go, Captivate. This is where we activate. Welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids, everyone. Today we got the brand new Deviate Captivate. Cool title. Since we got a Deviate ball, we got Goots on the lanes. He's gonna be comparing it against his Bigfoot. The only reason where we're comparing the two is because they're both symmetric pearls. We got the Captivate pinned down, and we have the Bigfoot pin up. And we just wanna explain a little bit why pin downs are pretty good for bowlers with high rev rates or slower speeds. The way pin down works in the dual angle layout system is that it's gonna make the ball hook a little bit less. It's gonna decrease the hook potential of the ball. So it's gonna go a little bit longer and it's gonna be a little bit more tame off the spot and cover overall a little bit less boards than as if this same ball was pin up. So I've already done a test, pin up, pin down on the same exact bowling ball and you can see the reaction difference right up here in the in the corner, take a click on that. Goots, as we know, has a pretty high rev rate. He's got medium speed, so a little bit rev dominant, so his revs kind of overmatch his speed a little bit. So we're gonna have to use some layouts and some bowling balls to make the ball not overhook on him. Especially when he's bowling on conditions where there's lots of dry boards, like house patterns or shorter oil conditions. So he's got a pinup Bigfoot here, and this is kind of his go-to ball later in the day, later in the block when the lanes get a little toasty, dried up a little bit, or we're bowling on high friction surfaces. So we needed something that was a little more tame off the spot, so we decided to go pin down here on the Captivate, just to lower the hook potential and have it not so crazy off the back end when it does start to hook. The Captivate here has a brand new core, which is called Captivate and also a pretty popular cover stock here by the Brunswick brand, the HK22. This one's HK22 Insider Pearl. As you might have seen before, the Insider Pearl is also on the Damn Good Verge Pearl. We have a brand new core, a little bit weaker, uh, meant for a little medium to lighter conditions, but we have the HK22 cover stock, which is pretty powerful. It's been on a couple high-end balls lately, like the Defender Hybrid, the Top Speed, and also the 3D Attack. So we have like a lower end core with a pretty big cover stock on it. So we're gonna see how it rolls here for Goots pinned down. Today we're bowling on Big Ben. It's got lots of dry boards to the right, lots of oil in the middle. So something, a really smooth ball is gonna do really well on. So we chose that pattern to do this showcase. Let's go see how these balls roll with Goots. is back. We are throwing the new DV8 Captivate. And I'm comparing it with my favorite pearl ball, the Bigfoot Pearl. Shots on the Big Ben today, pretty fresh. Both balls are pearls, both are polished or has that compound on it. And uh, the slow roll on this long pattern. So, let's throw a couple shots with the Captivate. Nice, 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 nice. So something a little different about this vid, I drilled a pin down ball. Usually I don't do that. We're trying to see what the difference is between a pin down pearl and a pin up pearl in my hand. Since I'm such a high rev player, we'll probably see two different shapes. I'm not sure. We're here to find out. So again, throw the same shot with the Captivate. Kept it in oil too long, didn't really get into a roll. The dreaded 7-10 split. So another shot with the Captivate. I can get it out to 10. Really get that slow roll happening. Like these balls are pearls, so if I throw it any faster, they won't do anything. Ah, oh, missed. Nice shot though, nice shot. All right, let's throw a couple shots with a big foot. This ball will give us a little bit more length, a little bit more cleaner back end motion. We might expect a little bit of nine pins happening, not 100% sure, but usually with a pin up pearl, it does give you that angular motion in the back. As compared to pin down stuff, it gives you a smoother roll, earlier read. All right, so let's throw a good shot here. Yeah, there's that 10 pin, there's that snap in the back that you see. You see all the pins just flying to the back. If you guys haven't noticed yet, Wearing the new merch, Lost City, baby. We might do that later on. 
But right now, let's just see what the pin up and pin down does. So one more shot with the pin up, slow roll. Ooh, nice. Got it in the dry, hit that dry spot hard, and it just flipped. Let's see if I can do that with the Captivate. I haven't moved my feet yet. The powder's still pretty fresh. All right, question time with Goots. Do you guys like your balls pin up or pin down? Do you like that rolly motion or do you like that back end motion? Let's throw one good shot with this and then let's move a little bit left. So the Captivate comes with the new cover that every ball seems to be having. Track line, deviate line, anything pearl, I guess. With the HK22, not gonna lie, I do like the HK22 uh, cover stock. So let's hit that dry. Hit that dry, all right. Rolled early, less back end motion, but uh, got a little too far out. Let's be accurate. <laughs> hey, boys and girls, I do want a dead flush here. Just gonna let you know I'm standing on 32. Going to about 17 to 10. With slow roll. Oof. Guess the pin down don't want to do that. All right, let's move left. All right, so I was standing on 32. Let's move a zone left. I'm gonna stand at 40. Really let this baby roll. Roll into nowhere. Good off my hand. I got it in the dry, probably a little too late. Ball couldn't recover, especially on Big Ben. Heavy in the middle, dry on the outside. But if I get it out there late, especially with a pearl, I don't think it'll do much. If I had a solid ball in my hand, completely different story, maybe an ASIM. We're talking about the pearls today. So again, stand on 40. Nice, nice. That looked pretty good. Let's throw a good shot with a big foot. My favorite ball of all time, as well as the GB4. All right, it's down at 40, get to about 22. Slow roll. Ooh-wee. Flush, baby. That was amazing. Throwing a pin down pearl compared to a pin up pearl. You can already see the two different shapes. One has really good back end motion, especially when moving left. The other one's a little rolly off the spot, causing it not to have the same amount of energy when it hits the pins. I'm still gonna go in front of the ball return. Have a little bit of loft. See the pin down roll. Let's go, Captivate. This is where we activate. Ooh. Too rolly, too rolly. Threw a good shot off my hand there, but once it got to that spot, it just lost its, lost its energy. This is where the pin up comes in. Clean it through the fronts with tremendous back end motion. A lot sharper, a lot cleaner. But if I get that ball inside 10, I don't think it'll recover like that, or I'll leave a 410. Let's throw one more shot with the Captivate. Same line, has the big foot. One more time, just cause I wanna see what happens. I know I can make this happen. Is that it? That was nice. It was very nice. All right, back to the shop. Through the Captivate and the big foot. My two different layouts, I did go pin down with the Captivate. It was a lot more rollier, very predictable on where it hooked. As well as when it got to the dry boards, I didn't get a crazy back end reaction uh, that the Bigfoot gave me. Or I left a lot of flat tens. I guess it's just too much oil and every time I amped the speed up a little bit, the ball didn't carry the way I wanted it to. But every time I did slow it down, it's dead flush. Throwing the Bigfoot on the other hand, every time I got to the dry, you can really see it on the friction where it just bumps and really takes off. I can tell you that probably in the later blocks, I will probably be using this one more just because of how smooth that transition is, especially when it comes to a wet to dry cliffy situation where there's too much oil in the middle and too dry on the outside, this ball will probably be my go-to. I've used this ball for many tournaments as well as league, and I can tell you it's one of my favorite balls, but when it comes to cliffier shots, I get a lot of over-under. As over-under, I mean like the ball will be too hard off the spot or sometimes it just wouldn't hook at all. So I get stuck in a scenario where I'll be playing like a Dutch Dutch game where I go strike, spare, strike, spare, just because I can't get that uh, right angle to the pocket. Bringing this later on into tournaments probably will help me in those situations. Little thing that I saw with the pin down and the pin up reactions. As Jordan said earlier, pin down will give me that smoother roll, which is correct. Really like that shape, probably for later on. And the pin up reaction will really be violent off the back. With the HK cover stock, it really got down the lane and just smoothed it out. Same with this, with uh, having 2K in compound, it really got down the lane and once it hit that spot, it did take off. 
kudos to the pros. Something that you'll always use at later at the blocks. Thanks for watching guys. Comment down below on what you prefer, either pin up or pin down. And I want to say thanks to the boys. They made this beautiful shirt. Lost City, baby. Really like it. Shop.jrproshop.com for some new merch.